Hello everyone and welcome to episode 38. Before we get to the channeling, I have a few things to share. One of the things is uh, Max has created a beautiful prayer to change the corruption of currency. So if you haven't seen the video where Max and I spoke about how to change the corruption of currency, I highly encourage you to do so. It's a short video, but it's very powerful. The more people who can engage in this energy, the better. So I'll, I won't go into the whole explanation because it's all in the video, but I do want to share the prayer with you in case you don't have time to watch the video. This prayer is very powerful. So with our intentions to transmute the currency and all the energies that are attached to, the, to money. Here and now, I bless all currencies and all mediums of exchange in all existence with the highest and best, truest and purest, greatest and grandest, light and love. I assist Source and many, many beings in this aligned intention. The great radiance of this energy dissolves all lower vibrations in its field. This energy dissolves the fetters that bind our souls. It transmutes dense energies, allowing Gaia to shine even brighter. Any engagement of action, thought, feeling, or resonance with any money now reminds each of the absolute truth of who and what we are as souls of infinite light, infinite love, infinite wisdom, and infinite power. Thank you, Max. I also wanted to address a question that I'm getting a lot of people who want to ask Prime Creator about suffering. Why has the suffering gone on so long? Why are we allowed to suffer? like all of these questions and we've asked these questions of prime creator and the answer is about free will and choice it's it's pretty simple um, but because of the layers of density and hologram things get convoluted and so things maybe appear complex but the essence and the heart of the matter is really about us claiming our sovereignty and us claiming our power as human beings. And this is why the suffering has gone on so long, because basically we have forgotten that we're sovereign. We have forgotten how powerful we are. We have forgotten that we can change. And you say, Susie, well, what about all of the refugees and all of the things and tragedies happening in other parts of the world? And you know, maybe even you personally are affected. And it starts as individuals, each one of us claiming our power and our sovereignty. And then the energy and the ripple of that can go out. We cannot possibly be responsible as one individual for everything that occurs on the planet. We are responsible for our own beings, our own hearts, our own thoughts, the energy that we emanate. And so that's where the responsibility starts and that's where the changing of suffering begins. So if you send me these questions to ask Prime Creator about why are we suffering from so long, I'm not going to ans ask these questions anymore. We've asked it already. The answer has come through. It's simple. The answer starts with us. And so I'm passionate about this topic because I have actually gotten quite a few questions about this. And I understand how challenging it is to take personal responsibility because it involves us looking deeply at our shadow, looking deeply into ourselves. We cannot put the responsibility outside of ourselves and look for our star brothers and sisters to come save us or even the energies of heaven to come in and save us. That's not how this works. We're giving, we are giving great assistance right now by the loving energies that are coming in. And what we need to do with those energies is to embody and integrate them on a very personal, individual level so that we in unity and as oneness can be affected so that we can raise the vibration of the collective and the whole. So that's my take on that. And that segues 
into the conversation about the membership website that is currently being created for you. I will, in this site, hold your hand so that you can have guidance and support to look at your shadow. So that you can contribute to the whole in raising the collective vibration because that's what we're all about here. So that is in progress. It is being created for you. I will give you details as things get closer and closer to being ready for you. I'm excited about being able to provide a deeper service in this way. Much love, everyone. We will transition to the channeling. Is the void that can be experienced during energetic reaching only experienced in polarity? No, dear one, for there is void everywhere. In polarity, you experience void in a very specific way, as an emptiness, as something not fulfilling. Outside of polarity, void is not a thing that is avoided. It is an opportunity for exploration, for creation. And so you could say it has a different flavor, a different experience to the soul. Is there any more understanding as to the nature of what void actually is? Void is the part of the soul that has not yet remembered or awakened to it. As we have discussed, Everything that exists has always been, always will be. And so in one way, you know the void. But you could say it is not part of your remembering, not part of that which has been awakened in you. Void is a perception. What you perceive as void is an emptiness, is the unknown, especially in your human form. At a soul level, it is more of a, an unformed creation, substances that have not yet come together as something understandable to the soul. So yes, it does contain all that is. But the substance of which is not yet combined in ways that the soul recognizes. Prime Creator has shared Gaia's frequency in Hertz. Humans' understanding of Hertz as cycles of energy be being completed in one second. What cycles of energy are being completed when referring to Gaia's frequency. First, dear ones, understand that it is the completion of each cycle that is what allows the frequency of Gaia to be elevated. There is a freedom, you could say, as each cycle completes itself that allows the elevation of Gaia's frequency. Yes, dear ones, many cycles are now being completed. And more are to come. Some of these cycles are weather patterns, the human form, carbon-based DNA, the cycles of aging, cycles of death and rebirth, and reincarnation, your cycles of systems of governance, cycles of materialism on the planet, specifically meaning how Gaia breathes, how land masses shift or stay static. In previous timelines, land masses were quite static for many, many years. There is now a flow that you observe and will continue to observe in the changing of your maps, how land masses are connected how far apart they are from each other. 
So cycles of static materialism are now coming to completion. The materialism of your consumerism, things needed for travel, the food required by your bodies, All of these are in process. Yes, your systems of money, your systems of exchange, ways of communication, and things unseen, such as the interaction and ability of interaction with your star brothers and sisters on this planet, with inner earth life, the way plants communicate with humans and with each other. The elementals and things unseen by most. They will now be more seen. Abilities to communicate with unseen, unfelt worlds or the inability to communicate is now coming to completion. These are things that for some have already come to completion and for some are in progress. And this is one reason why hurts can fluctuate. For on days when those who are tuned in to new levels of communication, the hurts can increase. And on days where the focus is elsewhere, the hurts may decrease. These are relatively small fluctuations in your understanding. I simply present this information so that you understand how things can flow and fluctuate, even within the span of one day of your time. There are many cycles of science coming to completion. Meaning how your scientists understand the world to be, the nature of gravity, the nature of how things work. Many of these understandings are coming to completion and will be coming to completion in your future. Celebrate these changes, dear ones. For in your heart of hearts, this is what you have been longing for and creating. Yes, there will be some period of adjustment as you are now experiencing. However, this is the time that you have been creating and longing for. Stay focused in your creations, dear one. How does blessing and transmuting the energy of all money assist Gaia? In essence, dear ones, it assists in her ascension process. Because as you are beginning to understand, the energies of your currency are imprinted and programmed at many levels. The energies of your currency are interwoven with everything on your planet, within your matrix and hologram experience. And so as you transmute the energies, you are transmuting all. And as you transmute all, and the collective frequency is raised, Gaia benefits for her ascension. Many have inquired, how can we assist Gaia in her healing? This is one way, dear ones, by transmuting the energies of money, of your currencies. Even the energies of your exchanges to ensure that each exchange is mutually beneficial. You're giving, you're receiving, whether it is currency 
or simply energy or an exchange of words or a physical interaction. Work with these energies in transmutation so that the exchange is mutually beneficial. And as it is beneficial for two, it is beneficial for all. How far does the energy of money affect life? Does this pattern of energy affect beings or aspects who reincarnate in other universes if they have not cleared this energy? This is a beautiful question, dear one. As it demonstrates your understanding that life is infinite and infinitely connected. Yes, when you transmute, whether it is money or some other energy, it is affecting all life everywhere, regardless of the incarnation in any universe or any multiverse, or any system of life. And because of the amplification of Gaia's energy with human energy, as we have discussed before, humans are quite powerful. And what they emanate individually and as a collective indeed emanates and reaches all life everywhere. So yes, you could say, you in a human incarnation has great responsibility. And as always, dear ones, I do invite you to be gentle with yourselves. To not begin judgment as you gain this understanding, but to simply choose your creations wisely and for the highest good and highest alignments. Is there anything else Prime Creator would like to share with those watching this video at this time? Dear ones, I would like to give you a bit of an understanding of how this energy is flowing. Those of you who have been paying attention and understanding how you are embodying the energies of love and light that are now penetrating your planet. At first, the energies were only able to reach a certain degree. They were only able to come to this planet in small bits and pieces. For they have always been available to you. But the longing and desire from your hearts as a collective was not strong enough to magnetize them to your experience. Now, as a collection of souls, you have commanded these energies to come in, to come in to your individual beings, to come to Gaia. And over many, many years, now finally, you are at a place where there is such collective command for these energies. that most pathways for these energies to flow through are now open. What this means, as we have discussed before, is that you will see an increase in polarity to your perception. This means an increase in injustice, an increase in travesty, an increase in shadow. As things are being exposed on your planet, things that were once hidden are now coming to light. It may seem quite traumatic. However, please understand that this is an essential part of the process. For these things must be seen before they can be transmuted. And that is your job as light workers to transmute these energies. I use the word job because it is something you understand. However, there is never any obligation. You are always at choice, dear ones. 
But this is what many of your lightworker souls are volunteering to do at this time. To transmute the energies of the shadow that is now being seen and will be seen even more. Many beings that you thought were benevolent even to your perception. You may see the shadow side of these beings. Yes, indeed, you all have a shadow side as you still are in the polarity matrix. However, as you transmute the energies of the shadow, you begin to transcend polarity. And this is something to practice, dear ones. Transcending polarity, meaning that you practice being love in your everyday experience. Instead of engaging in the shadow that you see outside of yourself, turn your focus back to the light. Yes, if you have something within your own being that needs to be addressed, please, by all means, this is appropriate. This is a wise use of your energy. But to view the shadow outside of yourself, I will use as an example the U.S. government as much as currently being exposed. To engage in the energies of this shadow is not a wise use of your time and energy, dear ones. It is a distraction away from your light. Now, if you wish to focus your love and send the energies of love and transmutation to your government, then yes, this is of great assistance. However, if you find yourself becoming emotionally charged and worked up over something that is now revealed or something that has occurred, do you see how this affects your energies and your frequencies? And so this is great mastery and a fine tuning of how you use your energy. This channel speaks of sovereignty. And one meaning of this is mastering your energies. With what energies do you choose to engage? What energies do you choose to feed by your engagement? This is the fine-tuning that must now occur by those of you who feel called to this depth of practice. For at this level, you begin to transcend polarity. You are able to allow what occurs outside of you to occur, and it does not take you out of your center of love. Love for yourself, love for other. And this is your power as light workers, dear ones. Come together in this power. Come together in your focus of your light creations. This is what causes the shift on this planet from darkness and shadow to heaven on earth. Allow polarity to exist around you, but do not be a part of it. Who among you would like to reach this level of mastery? I thank you, dear ones, for those of you who say yes, for this is of great service indeed. Either way, dear ones, please know that each of you are cherished. Each of you are deeply loved and supported. I would like to offer a transmission of sound through this channel, specifically for the integration of the light and love energies that are currently flooding your planet. For as the channels fully open, you will experience 
even more light and love energy. There is a great buildup occurring. It will go into your month of August. It will go into your month of September. And it will go beyond this as needed, depending upon the agreement of your soul collective. invite you dear ones to take gentle care of yourselves to take gentle care of yourselves to nourish the physical body the mental body the emotional body the spiritual body for the love and light energies coming to you now do affect each layer and level of your being. And so as you nourish yourselves, you allow the embodiment of greater amounts of love and light. I thank you, dear ones. You are precious. You are loved. Mm. I hope you guys can feel what I feel. Just the love of Prime Creator for all of us. It's so deep and so beautiful. And so I feel the inspiration as I was toning to offer those of you who do wish to contribute your gifts of currency. I would like to give you in exchange even greater than what I offer in these videos, 
So for those of you who feel inspired to gift $20 or more, I will send you a digital version of my Didgery Deep Sound Healing CD. And that way you can get more of the tones and frequencies that come through for us. Much love, everyone. Thank you so much for being part of my family, for being part of this amazing, amazing journey with me. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video.